everyone. You might think that how I'm dressed is a little fishy today. <laughs> well, today we are talking about how love is shellfish. So I put on my favorite lobster costume for today and I am so excited that we are finally discussing the importance of shellfish. You know, I can't wait to get started. So who is ready to play a game? Okay, this game is called, Do You Hear What I Hear? Here's how you play. You will hear a sound playing and you will have 20 seconds to guess what that sound is. When you think you know, shout out the answer. Let's try a practice round. Listen closely. Do you know what that sound is? It's a typewriter. Great job, everyone. All right, are you ready for the first round? Here we go. Do you think you know what that sound is? This sound is a bowling ball crashing into pins. Maybe they got a strike. Let's do another round. Here we go. What sound is that? It's a herd of sheep. Awesome job. Are you guys ready for the last round? Uh, are you sure? Okay, here we go. Do you know what that sound is? It's a pen clicking. You guys are so amazing. I had so much fun with you guys today. Now, let's take a look at our memory verse. Hey everyone, our memory verse for today is found in 1 John 4, 16. It says, we know that God loves us. We depend on it. God is love. 1 John 4, 16. Great job, let's all say that together. We know that God loves us. We depend on it. God is love. 1 John 4.16 Awesome, let's say it one more time, but this time, let's say it with an Australian accent. Ready, mates? We know that God loves us. We depend on it. God is love. 1 John 4.16 <laughs> Great job, guys. Now let's all stand to our feet because it's time to declare the Word of God. We declare God's Word because it is what? That's right, God's Word is powerful. So let's shout it out in one, two, three, four.
everybody. Hello, kids. Hey guys, I'm so glad that you're here today. We have some, something uh, really, oh my word. Okay, really delicious. I mean, we have something um, sweet. I mean, we have, what are you doing? What's happening? Um, How are you? That's a lot, that looks beautiful. I'm eating chocolate cake. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. It looks uh, pretty good. It is. Mm. Chocolate cake is my favorite. <laughs> Mine too. Okay, um, you know, I was just thinking earlier today, I could really go for a piece of chocolate cake. It <laughs> would make too. my day. I love day. chocolate cake. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you know, there's this grocery store right up the road where they sell them. You should go get one. Um, do you think that maybe there's any chance that you could share a little bit of that? Because it looks like you have a lot. Um, no, I don't want to run out. Run out? Run out? That cake is huge! Yeah, but if you take one slice, then that's one less for me. And then if Nikolai takes a slice, then that's another slice I don't get to eat. And so, what do I do when I eat my last slice and then there isn't any more? Hey, look, I eat like a bird here. Yeah, uh, okay, so listen. Um, I think actually you might benefit from what we're talking about today in our message. We're gonna continue talking about love. Oh, you are? Yeah. Like, uh, so love is unselfish. <clears throat> oh, that's awesome. Okay. Um, all right, how about this? Um, why don't you take a seat? We'll talk about how love is unselfish and then maybe something can happen. Okay. Yeah. No? Um, can I take my cake? Yeah, sure, go ahead, take your cake. All of it? Good. Awesome, thanks Mr. Rob. Yeah, no problem. Pay attention. Okay, wow. <laughs> okay, hey everyone. Hello kids. I'm so glad you guys joined us for church today. Like I said before, we're gonna be talking about how love is unselfish. Wait, what is this word unselfish? Oh, maybe it's said differently from where you're from. Aren't you from Russia? I'm from Ohio. Ohio, they don't they have that. Okay, yep. anyway, being unselfish means that you're willing to put the needs of others before yourself. So another way of saying it is that you're not selfish or you're generous. Oh, okay, I understand now. You may continue with the lesson. Okay, thank you, Nikolai. Did you guys know that love is to give? It's true, and no one can outgive God. He's the biggest giver ever. Let's look at the verse found in John 3, 16. Ready, it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. See, this verse is telling us how big of a giver God is. He gave his one and only son, Jesus, to lay down his life for us, all so we could spend forever with him in heaven. This is a really amazing gift. The best gift, and Jesus did just that. He came to earth, lived a life without any sin. He gave his life on the cross and paid the price for our sin. And then three days later, God raised him from the dead. And now, because he gave his life, we get to have eternal life when we give him our hearts. That is the biggest gift in all of history. Wow. I know, it's awesome. Did you know that you can give unselfishly too? We can? Yeah, you know, I actually have a great way for us to see what this looks like to love unselfishly. This glass right here and the shaving cream. This shaving cream represents love, right? Shake it up. Now inside the can is a bunch of shaving cream, but let me ask you, can I use this shaving cream if it's inside this can? No. No, I can't, right? But when I start spraying the shaving cream, it starts to fill the whole glass up, watch. <sighs> What? It's the same thing with love. As Christians, we have the love of God inside of us. If you keep that love that you have on the inside and you never show it, can that help anyone? No, the love that you have inside of you has to come out. It has to be overflowing and it can be like the shaving cream. You can give love, you can be unselfish and others can experience the love of God too. This is so awesome. It's so awesome that we have that much love inside of us to give. But Mr. Rob, mm -hmm. how do we do that? Okay, well, there are lots of ways. Maybe it's showing unselfish love to your, okay, this is gonna be tough, your younger brother or sister by letting them play and share with your toys. Okay, I know, I know you don't wanna do that, but being unselfish, not all about you, right? So you can share with them. That's how you be unselfish. Or maybe it's offering the last slice of cheesy, delicious pizza 
to your friend instead of taking the whole pie for yourself. Maybe it's simply doing the dishes at home without anyone asking you to do them first. There's lots of ways that you can give love unselfishly. But before we can give that love unselfishly, first we have to have God in us. We do that by accepting Jesus as our savior. Remember what we talked about earlier, the greatest gift in history? God sent his son Jesus to save us. Oh yes, I remember. Yeah, I mean, you see, we were all born with something called sin. See, that sin separates us from God. God loves us so much that he made a way for us to come back to him and spend forever in heaven with him. He sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross and to pay the price for our sins, for my sin. Would you guys pray with me right now? You may be listening right now and you've never accepted Jesus. You've never been filled with his love. Maybe some of you are not sure if you have or not. I want to give you the opportunity to do that right now. And it's so easy to do. All we have to do is ask him. So if you'd like to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and have him fill your heart with his love, would you repeat this after me? Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. Thank you that you sent your son Jesus. Thank you that you sent your son Jesus. For me. For me. Lord, today. Lord, today. I give you my life. I give you my life. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Fill me with your love. Fill me with your love. Help me to share. Help me to share. That love. That love. With everyone around me. With everyone around me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Guys, I'm so proud of you. So make sure you tell someone in your family that you just prayed that prayer. That is the best decision that you will ever make your whole life. So welcome to God's family. And guess what? Right now, you can love like God loves and you have God's love inside of you and you can start letting it overflow out of you so everyone around you can experience it too. Mr. Rob, I am so glad I listened to the message today. I wanna to give unselfishly too. So I cut two nice big pieces of cake for you and for Nikolai. Yeah. Wow, this is so nice. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love chocolate cake. Mm. I, I, uh, little help here. I don't have fingers. Oh, uh, maybe you guys want to. Yeah, here. Let's go over there. I can help you with this. Yes, yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Wow. It's so awesome that Miss Jessica learned that love is unselfish. I, I need to find a big glass of milk to finish with this huge piece of chocolate cake. I'm so excited. Guys, thanks for being with us today. And we'll see you next time. Oh, this looks amazing.